I am Dr. Greg Castello, board certified family practice with CostelloWellness.com and Adventist Health Partners. And I want to give you an update on a video I did about eight months ago on a new class of diabetic drugs that has been associated with significant weight loss. So the class of drugs are called SGLT type 2, and that's uh, sodium glucose transport type 2 inhibitors. Uh, Invokana was the first drug to come to market. There's a second drug now called Farxica, and these are drugs that you take as a pill, and they interfere with your kidney's ability to reabsorb sugar and put it back into circulation. So when you take these medications, you actually are spilling sugar into your urine, anywhere from 150 to up to 300 calories a day of sugar lost in your urine. The medications have a diuretic effect to them, so uh, with the extra sugar, it causes you to make more urine and can have a blood pressure lowering effect. Um, it obviously can have a diabetes effect because it decreases the sugar in your bloodstream. It also has a potential um, antihypertensive effect, and if you're on blood pressure medications or need blood pressure medications, these medicines may actually help lower your blood pressure even though that's not the indication. Uh, when we first talked, I had some significant reservations about the class of drugs because there was some implications with bladder cancer associated with the class of drugs. Um, the most recent study on the second drug to come to market, Farxica, actually they looked at over 6,000 patients over two years' time with the medication, and in the group of 6,000 people who took the drug for two years, there's a total of four bladder cancers compared to zero in the placebo group, or about one in 1,500 people over a two-year time period developed bladder cancer, uh, and it's not known at this point whether that was related to the medication or if that was a side effect of being a diabetic or if they were smokers or had other pre-existing risk factors for um, bladder cancer. Uh, the study uh, excluded those that did not uh, take the medication for less than a year, and the assumption was is if you got bladder cancer within a year's time, you probably had bladder cancer prior to the onset of the study. My personal experience now with Farsica since it's come out has been excellent. I've had no side effects of the medication. Um, I've had significant weight loss in those that have come back to see me for follow-up. Um, everyone is spilling significant quantities of sugar in their urine, including a couple of people I've put on the drug as a trial that were not diabetics. They were actually spilling sugar as well. I've seen good blood pressure results to the medication. I'm stopping diuretics in the people who take diuretics when I put them on the medication. Um, so for right now, I'm going to tell you that it is a good drug, at least for the short term. Uh, the FDA continues to monitor the medications, and if there's any reported bladder cancers, this will be known by the FDA, and further recommendations will be made. But I'm going to go ahead and say now the drug is okay to use, at least for the short term. If you want to talk to your doctor, the two drugs are Invokana and Farxica. They may not be aware of them because they are relatively recent drugs. Dr. Costello, thanks.